Hey there, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Sorry that it's been a while. Uh, we are going to focus today on how to use frequency separation in Photoshop Elements. Now, as most of you know, I am an Elements girl. Uh, I do not have the full Photoshop version. Uh, right now, this is Elements 12. I do own 15. I just have not downloaded it to my desktop right now. It is only on my laptop. Uh, so I am in Elements 12. There are ways to do frequency separation in, L in, in Photoshop, and it's actually a lot easier. So um, this is for you guys that are Elements purists like myself that do not have the full version of Photoshop. Uh, we can still get that frequency separation. So with frequency separation, what we're doing is we are preserving the, the textures. Now I could very easily go into this um, photo and I could just do a Gaussian blur and then you know paint on where I wanted that Gaussian blur. But the thing that that does is it kind of it takes away that texture. Uh, we lose all of this little texture in the skin. I love the little little hairs on the cheeks and kind of up here in the hairline. Those disappear so quickly on newborns, so I like to preserve that um, just so that it's there for for all time. Uh, so I have started. This was the original. I've already kind of gone through and played with my exposure and my um, colors to kind of get it to a, a level where I kind of like it better. So I'm going to turn that background layer off. Now with this edited layer that I've already done, I'm going to do four duplicate layers. So you could come up here, and I don't even know where it is. Um, maybe here? No. I don't know. Add Command or Control J. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate that layer four times. If you don't know the shortcuts, I highly recommend that you go through and you um, you can Google it and you can print out a sheet that actually tells you what all the shortcuts are. Once you learn your shortcuts for Photoshop, uh, it's going to make your life so much easier. So here we have, we should have one, two, three, four, five copies of our layer. So on this top layer, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to my filter menu and I am going to blur a Gaussian blur and I'm gonna go somewhere between four and six. I usually go on the lower side for this so I'm just gonna put it on four. Then I'm going to inverse this layer, Command or Control I. So we have this, looks weird I know, stick with me. And then up here on my opacity I'm gonna change that to 50 percent so that you should have something that looks like this. And if I zoom in you can kind of see the outline of, hit, of the baby in the blanket. So now on this layer, I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to select my top two layers and I'm holding down shift and clicking on those layers and I'm going to command or control E to merge those. So now I have just this grayed out layer and I'm gonna change that blend mode to linear light. So what this has done is it's kinda of helped bring out the fine details. So if I turn that off, you can just kind of tell it makes it a lot sharper and crisper. But we're not going to leave it there. So once I've done that, I'm going to rename this layer. This is going to be my high pass layer. Now there is a high pass option in your menu up here under your filters. Under here there's a high pass. I've tried that. This just works a little bit better. So now on the layer immediately underneath that high pass, we're going to come back up here and we are going to Gaussian blur that again to exactly what we did. Should already be there, so we should be at the four. Perfect. We're going to leave it there. We're going to add a layer mask to that and we're done with that layer for now. Now we're going to go to the layer right under that. We're going to go back to our blur menu and Gaussian blur. This time we're going to take it up to 20. All right, so once we've done that, we're going to add a layer mask, and then we're going to make sure our layer mask has the highlight around it. See how it changes now the blue's around the picture? We want that blue that highlighted around our layer mask, and we're going to control or command I to inverse to make it black. Now, this top layer right here, we are going to rename this layer. This is going to help us with our color. 
this one right here is going to be our smooth smoothing layer. Once I've done this, I'm going to take my smoothing layer, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to drag it so that it's up here. So I just kind of swap, swapped those two. Now, this is where we start getting into it. All right, so I am on my high pass layer. I'm going to come over here to my um, healing brush, and you could use either one, the spot healing or the healing brush. I personally like the healing brush because I can go, go up and sample where I want it to pull from. Um, so now what on your high pass layer, you're going to correct any of the big blemishes. Uh, it's not going to correct any of your color. It's just going to be a place where you can go in and take off um, where you don't want some of this texture. So I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to click where I want to sample from, and I'm just going to kind of paint over. And you can tell it's just taking some of that off. Now, like I said, I like to leave some of it, so I'm not going to take all of this. And you may have to kind of click and go over a couple of times. Um, right here, you can see there's this red spot, but if I go over that, you can tell it's not taking the red out. It might take some of that texture off, but it's leaving the red. And in a minute, I'll show you how to get rid of that. All right, so I'm just going to come in and kind of hit those bigger spots. Again, I want to kind of leave some of this texture, kind of the hair, some of the little milk dots on his nose. But I'm taking off kind of the bigger spots. Okay, so once I get to where I want that to be, I usually go down to my color layer and we're going to make sure we're clicked on the picture, not the layer itself. We're clicking on the picture. And again, I'm using the spot healing. I'm selecting Alt, holding down Alt and clicking where I want it to select from. And now I'm getting rid of the color. You just kind of have to blend it out a little wherever you don't want. And if you notice now, um, let me find a spot. Let's try here. It's not, I'm not losing the texture. I will over the eye, eyelashes, but like right here, I'm not losing that texture now. So I can still get rid of the, the color I don't want, but I'm leaving that texture there. See on his, the little line of his eyelash, or eye, eyelid? It's leaving that. On his chin, there's some red. And again, you can sample from anywhere you want. So that really we are about where we want it to be. I'm going to go back to my high pass. There's a little area right here that I want to kind of smooth out. Maybe a little bit more of this in here. Again, this is kind of your taste and what you like. All right. So I think I'm pretty happy with that right there. Um, this layer, our smoothing layer, it doesn't always do exactly as much blurring as I would like it to. Uh, but on this one, I'm going to make sure that my layer, that black layer, is selected. And with my brush set at... An opacity somewhere around 30, maybe 35, just because I like it a little bit more on this one. Um, then we can go in. We're still leaving the texture. We're still leaving the color. It's just kind of smoothing out. It's a very, very subtle thing. Um, again, sometimes I will go through after I've done this, and I will blur it a little bit more after I merge my layers. All right, but you can see right here, if I go ahead and I'm going to merge 
before I do that, just so we can see. I'm going to merge all those, and here's where we started, and here's where we ended. So again, it still leaves some of that texture so that it doesn't have that plastic look. Um, but that's where we are for now. So that was just a quick little tutorial on how to use frequency separation. Um, I'll come back in just a minute and show you guys the final edit on this photo. Okay, so we are back and here is our original image after a little bit of color correcting. This was our image after we got, um, we went in and did our frequency separation. And our final image is going to be right here. So you can tell here's our before and our after with just a little more color correction. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a comment or shoot me an email. And as always, thank you for watching.